Okay. All right, Tom, let's do this. Let's do the sneezing. All right. So I, I, I will admit I had an ulterior motive uh, when I grabbed this uh, article. Let me find it real quick. This story comes from interestingengineering.com. People with sneeze fetish have divided feelings about the pandemic. So as somebody who sneezes <laughs> voluminously yeah, you and don't sneeze regularly. One time. You sneeze 45 times when you sneeze. Yeah, I sneeze every day, multiple times a day. And I sneeze. When I sneeze, it's a good dozen times. Yeah, at least a and dozen. And they're not yeah. like little like, <laughs> like I fucking you convulse you convulse you you fold in half every time you sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> and what I what I discovered with this is that like that horrifying, disgusting characteristic of my being <laughs> <laughs> is to a tiny fragment of the population. In high fucking demand. It's sexy. It's sexy to some people. You know what I thought when I read this? I thought, you know who's got it real bad is the fetishes during this COVID thing. You know what I mean? Because on one hand, it's the sneezers. The other hand, it's the people who want to do ner naughty nurse and naughty doctor fetishes. They have to give up all their garb to all right? the people. <laughs> all the people who want to cough phlegm on their partner. You can't do that anymore. You know what I mean? I like to spit up phlegm on my partner on occasion. I can't even do that anymore. <laughs> I can't even do that. Well, you can't if you're living with your That's partner. True. You have, it's true. It's true. It's isolate. I'm not completely isolated, though. But yeah, I still do it, so. <laughs> <laughs> in the fight between the fetish and being infected, the real question comes to mind. To sneeze or not to sneeze? Sneeze fetish, believe it or not, it's a real thing. We don't get to choose what floats our boat, so it's not a surprise that some people prefer watching a beautiful lady or man sneezing. It's rather unclear what thrills people about sneezing. However, we don't really need to have reasons to like something. But an interesting fact is that sneezing and orgasming are both reflexes that follow a similar physiological pattern. An initial sensitivity, an increase in stimulation up to a certain threshold, which gives way to a release in the form of a palpable bodily response. In fact, according to Dr. Ruth Weismer, an orgasm is just a reflex, like a sneeze. Which is why I tap my dick with a hammer in order to get myself to come. I just... I <laughs> I tickle the end of it with a feather so it sneezes. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I put a little fucking ground pepper yeah, in the head of pepper. my dick and then yeah. boom. Yeah, no, I, I <laughs> snort snuff. It's like the snuff. Yellowstone Caldera. Yeah, I, I snort snuff with the end of it like a fucking, like an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's not an I, elephant. It's not. I take it's my like dick out and elephant. point it at the sun first it's thing in the a, morning. It's and not even it's a baby <laughs> elephant. I mean, who am I kidding? <laughs> it's not even an anteater. It's, it's, it's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh. This is not to say the two are connected. They just follow similar patterns. While this is just an estimation, it could be the reason why certain people get a kick out of it. You might have heard about their existence just now. However, the sneeze people exist, and they are also worried about the COVID-19. A concern user's, user's November post reads, quote, This is why I've always preferred allergy sneezes over sneezes caused by illness. No contagion to worry about, which has always been an aspect of the fetish, which sits uncomfortably with me. I have never thought about differentiating my sneezes into two categories, like one of which would be sexually appealing. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. That sneeze was uh, for me. Yeah, honey. look. That's I my <laughs> sneeze. All right. You Don't you go just get, okay, you can get excited, but like, I'm just, all right. Some girl sends you a hot pic on Tinder and you send her a sneezing pic back. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be that has to uh, be awkward. Like you just be like, can you sneeze for me? Be like, no. 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 I just what? It's fine. Maybe. It's fine. If people yeah. like it. I want to say though, somebody in chat said, Dr. Ruth Westheimer, is she still alive? They misspelled it in the article. They didn't add the W the E. They just W S oh, Dr. Ruth. But it's Dr. Ruth, and it is Dr. Oh. Ruth. And Dr. Ruth is 92. Holy shit. Dr. Ruth's still alive, 92 years old, born in 1928, June 4th. So she just had a birthday. Today is Dr. Ruth's birthday. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what? I just figured out it's awesome. That's really great. 
Oh, so uh, so happy birthday, Dr. Ruth. And if you like to have sex, like Dr. Ruth always talked about, you can go to adamandeve.com. You can type in <laughs> Gloria Checkout. You get 50% off stuff. And what else is there, Ian? Is they, they sent new copy this week. Are you going to do a new commercial for everybody? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he is now he's committed oh uh, yeah so they sent new cop it. they sent new copy this week and i said yes so we have to do what they say we have to do it i don't know what they they, they changed it because it was for a while the six tantalizing stuff and i think they changed it back to just you get one free yeah, i think thing. it's uh 50 off almost yeah. any item yeah. and free shipping free shipping i don't I think, think they're th- doing the free gifts I think right they're, now yeah but i think that right now they're they're trying to get the uh they're pushing the uh stay at home play at home sort of thing going on so right. um so ian will tell you all about it this week he's gonna do a commercial very funny i'm sure commercial maybe gary will be there who knows okay <laughs> somebody says Pressure. uh isn't a sneeze equivalent to one eighth of an orgasm i have never sneezed less than eight times in a row in my life <laughs> And I have never come from sneezing, so I don't. I, I don't think that that's. Uh, I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, but, also, but have no you sneezed week, with sorry. your? What's that called? Sorry, there's no ad this week. There's no ad this week. It's an off week. Oh, no ad this Just week. Just so people okay. don't yell at me. All right, it's an off week. It's not Ian's fault. It's not Ian's fault. It's an off week. I'll tell you when the next ad is. The next ad for next Adam week. and Eve is next week. And I'm not listening to Ian, even though he said it faster and more accurately than I did. So okay. next week will be one, and then the following week. Oh, man, that's super depressing. <laughs> I just scrolled up to like a couple weeks from now, and I'd be getting on a plane to go to Europe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's depressing. Why is that still in my calendar? Yeah. Oh, man. You got you to gotta take, Cecil, just go in your calendar. Do you have a search feature? Mm-hmm. Look for enjoy and remove it. Yeah, <laughs> anything you might enjoy is out this year. Uh, Ian does some good ads, though, doesn't he? He does amazing ads. Yeah, he does really Ian good. Ian does ads. amazing ads, and I like that we don't give him any direction. And like, so I don't know what the fucking ad is until I hear the yeah, ad. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I, no, that like, breaks like the illusion. Got- that breaks the illusion. What are you talking Cause about? Because I, I blame. I mean, I get the ad read from you, and you, you tell don't get me it to from do me, it. You get it from Erica. Uh, no, <laughs> the illusion is that. I mean, the reality is that you tell me what to do, and I just do it. That that's, way, I'm yeah, absolved of all the shit that, that I do. A, I'm I'm a yeah. comedic genius, and Ian is not. Correct. That's right. <laughs> Wait. 